Hey guys, Vindex here with the first episode of Tech Talks. And today's topics of discussions are everything about iPhone 14 series, new iMac, MacBook 12 inch, HomePod, and long awaited Apple Car. <laughs> so, the iPhone 14 series. The 14 line of smartphones from Apple will include four models two with a 6.1 inch display and two with a 6.7 inch display. The compact iPhone 14, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, the compact iPhone 14, the compact flagship iPhone 14 Pro, the big iPhone 14 Max, and the uncompromising giant iPhone 14 Pro Max. That is no many. Apparently, uh, the sales of 12 and 13 mini did not meet Apple's expectations, and that's quite sad. Nevertheless, according to the rumors, iPhone 14 and 14 Max will be equipped with last year's A15 Bionic. The new A16 will be only in the Pro models. It's a bummer, but actually not a big deal. The rumor is A16 will only be a minor upgrade over the last year's A15. But it's not the only bummer. All new features, including the ProMotion display, new notchless design will only be in the Pro. Also, the new always on display, which is kind of strange, we'll talk about it later, will be only in Pro models as well. And now to the cameras, starting with the front-facing one. Min Chi Kuo, a trustworthy analyst, says that changes will affect all new models. The company will add autofocus and increase the aperture to f1.9. In the iPhone 13, the front camera has an f2.2 aperture. From iPhone 11, that's crazy. So we have a new front-facing camera. All of 2022 iPhones could see an improvement to the ultra-wide camera and the iPhone 14 models will see a significant improvement to the wide-angle camera and updates to the telephone lens. Min Chi Kuo also believes that the 2022 Pro models will feature a 48 megapixel wide camera, which could be a major improvement over the current 2012 megapixel camera. 8K video recording capabilities. 14 Pro models will be able to take full 48 megapixel photos in situations with good lighting, but when lighting is poor, it will use the pixel bidding process for higher quality 12 megapixel photos that takes advantage of the 48 megapixel lens, like Androids do for three years or so. 14 and 14 Pro will have 6 gigs of RAM. That's the amount of RAM in 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. So the improvement is only for the center models. That's about it, about new things. So what we have left, 6 gigs of RAM and new front facing camera for the standard models and new chip, new camera system, new screen for Pro models. And unfortunately, no type C so same old slow charging speed and same old uh, slow media transfer is it enough for you to upgrade i don't know i'll probably stick with my 13 pro max for another year and what about price while the standard iphone 14 would start at 7.99 the bigger iphone 14 max would cost a hundred dollars extra at 8.99 that will bump the price of the Pro model up to $1099, which is $100 more than the 1000 of the iPhone 13 Pro, while the 14 Pro Max would also get a $100 premium on the current iPhone 13 Max, giving it the price of $1199. Another analyst reckons even the standard iPhone models could get a $100 price raise. Will you upgrade? Let us know in the comments. Hey guys, Vindex from the editing stage here. There are two news. First, the bezels of Pro and Pro Max will be the thinnest on the market. And second, the release of 14 and 14 Pro models may get delayed due to the visit of Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan. If some of you don't know Taiwan... <laughs> and now to other news, like HomePod. You remember it, right? When Apple stopped selling the original HomePod in March of last year, only its smaller version HomePod Mini remained on sale. Apple really tried to sell you the HomePod. They even reduced the price from $349 to $299, but no explosive growth came from this decision. Many people praise the speaker for its sound quality, and it's relatively popular now on eBay. Though Apple is preparing a new HomePod for us. It will feature a screen and a new chip S8 from Apple Watch Series 8. <laughs> Along with the HomePod, Apple retired a 27-inch iMac Pro and in March of this year it stopped selling a regular 27-inch iMac. The choices have shrunk. 
if you want a bigger screen you should buy a mac mini with an external monitor if you want some better performance you should buy an imac 24 inch option and if you want a lot of performance your choice is mac studio with studio display xdr a lot of money actually given that the iMac Pro haven't been thoroughly updated since its launch in December of 2017, the regular iMac became a better deal over time. The rumor is Apple will launch a new 27-inch or 13-inch iMac Pro next year with M2 Pro, M2 Max and even M2 Ultra. It's a quas. <laughs> regular macbook with 12 inch screen was launched in uh, spring of 2015 it featured a compact design no coolers big screen and a single usb port it gained popularity among students and casual users not only beautiful but with a long-lasting battery however the numerous advantages were overweighted by a single disadvantage intel chips lacked performance and under load the laptop overheated as hell and it can be easily softened with apple silicon according to the analysts a new small macbook will appear in 2024 it is worth noting that apple has engaged luigi Tarabarella, one of lamborghini's development managers to oversee the development of the company's long rumored car known as project titan Tarabarelli worked for Lamborghini for more than 20 years, most recently serving as the company's head of research and development for chassis and vehicle dynamics since 2008. His skills were put to use on various Lamborghini vehicles, including the Urus and Aventador. The engaging of Tarabarelli suggests Apple is quickening the pace of development of its mysterious self-driving electric vehicle program that has been known for the better part of the decade. And guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. How's the video? Leave a comment, subscribe, like, everything you want. See you next time.